word companion. All right, what do you think a companion is? James, what do you think a companion is? A friend? I think that's a great definition. Does that work for all of you? Well, we have a companion diocese. And I think that they're our friends. I think that's a beautiful way for us to think of them. Our friends in Christ, uh, we're part of the, the larger church, which is called the Anglican Communion. And this is a bonus question. Does anybody know what the word Anglican means? If you guess English, you'd be correct. Does anybody want to guess English? All right. They win. And so this is the Bishop of Liverpool. Does anybody know what country Liverpool is in? England, you all are the smartest group we've ever had up here. I am convinced. So he's going to help me with baptism. And are we ready to baptize? Yeah. All right. All right, Bishop. Thank you. So candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Now, little sisters, do you desire to be baptized? be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and love. And will you by your prayers and witness help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? So now these questions of the candidates who can speak for themselves, of the parents and godparents. Friends, do you renounce Satan? And all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God. And do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? And do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? And do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? Amen. Now the other candidates will now be presented. I present Carrie and James for confirmation. Friends, do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil? I do. Do you renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? Will you all, who witness these vows, do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ, and each one renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father. in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He was suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge us believe in God the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent? and return to the Lord. I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, with God's help. Let us now pray for these who have renewed their commitment to Christ. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. 
O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. My eyes are getting old today. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water over it. The Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the, holy, from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are born by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin are born again and may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. William will come up first. William, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good girl. Okay, now Bishop, you're up, Bishop. <coughs> William, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism, and marked as Christ's own forever. Jonathan.
Jonathan, I baptize you in the name of the Father <laughs> and of the Son <laughs> and of the Holy Spirit. Now, in the early church, they would always say, if they cry before baptism, that's the devil coming out. <laughs> if they cry after baptism, they're just singing a song. <laughs> Sing up, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. 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 Good job. Abby and Josie. I believe you are baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Abby, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism, and marked as Christ's own forever. That I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Jesse, you are sealed <coughs> by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Now let us pray. <coughs> Heavenly Father, thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon these your servants the forgiveness of sin and have raised them to the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere spirit to know and to love you in the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. All right. Amen. Bishop, I'm going to ask for your hand there. So. All right. We're going to come out here. Josie and Abby, you want to come on out? Grab Jonathan there. We're going to introduce you to the body of Christ. We're going to introduce you to all these people. All right. So, Bishop, will you grab Jonathan there? And we'll uh, <laughs> Mommy, you can follow if you want. You can follow. All right. <laughs> Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection and share with us in his eternal priesthood.
So in this prayer, uh, Ben and I will extend our hands towards the baptized. And I want you, friends, every one of you, to extend your hand towards them too. So that they're surrounded by the prayer of the church. Stretch out your hand. Let us now pray for these persons who have renewed their commitment to Christ. Almighty God, we thank you that by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome sin and brought us to your Son. And that by the sealing of your Holy Spirit, you have bound us to your service. Build up and renew in these your servants the covenant you made with them at their baptism. Send them forth in the power of that Spirit to perform the service you set before them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now before we move on to the confirmation, friends, you're in the world church. And in the Diocese of Liverpool, there's something we do that's not in this prayer book, so brace yourself. I always say, what's it like to be baptized? You saw what Jonathan thought about it. He was singing that song of praise all the time. <laughs> what's it like to be baptized? When we were all baptized, what did it feel like? Most of us were too young to know. I was the same age as this little one when I was baptized. How did it feel that God came to meet me before ever I could do anything for him? His love surrounded me. And to show that, the church took water and laid it on my head. How did it feel? It felt like this. <laughs> it felt like this. Even for, oh sorry, missed you. <laughs> Listen, even for, the, even for the priests and ministers of the church, when they came to God, it felt like this. <laughs> Now, Abby, or, or well, yeah, you little one, you come here for a second. Even for a bishop, when I came to God with nothing, he touched me with his life. So turn that, put your hand in the water, and splash my face. <laughs> Later, when bishop, when bishop Ted comes next week, surprise him. <laughs> So now it's confirmation time for Carrie and James, and I ask them now to come. And Carrie, I ask you to stand here and face this front. As you stand to make your own the promises made for you here, we pray for her in silence for a moment. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Carrie with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. We pray in silence for our brother. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant James with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. And if you both stand together and face the people. Almighty and ever living God, let your fatherly hand ever be over these your servants. Let your Holy Spirit ever be with them. And so lead them in the knowledge and obedience of your word, that they may serve you in this life and dwell with you in the life to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And one last Liverpool thing for these two and for these four. How do we feel that they're in the church? We rejoice. stood in the midst of his friends and said to them, Peace be with you. Then they were full of joy when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. I think we share peace with one another.